Well, welcome back. Uh, out here on the river today doing a little catfishing. Well, tonight actually. It's about 8 p.m. Probably about an hour until sundown. I'm trying a new bait today. It's a stink bait. I don't fish with stink bait very often. Uh, but I saw this uh, uh, bait uh, on somebody else's YouTube channel. I learned about this bait from a guy named Jeff. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called Catfishing Arizona. And he uses this stink bait, catches lots of channel cats and canals around Phoenix uh, in that area. And uh, the bait is Danny King's Catfish Punch Bait. This is the original uh, flavor. I think they make a couple different flavors. But uh, the thing that I found uh, unique about this that I haven't seen before in, in stink baits is that it's got uh, fibers mixed in with the, the mix here. And if you can see. Pull some, if I can pull some out here and see. See those fibers hanging on there? I believe those are cattails, shredded cattails mixed in with the, the stink bait. And uh, the idea with this stuff is you just uh, jam a bare treble hook down into the jar here. And then you pull it out and uh, the fibers uh, wrap around the hook along with a bunch of the bait. And... Uh, it just it's easy to bait up and it's uh, gonna keep that bait on the hook after it goes in the water you don't have to mess around with any uh, you know plastic worms any ribbed worm or any of those uh, springy uh, treble hooks or sponges or any of those other um, contraptions that are developed for using stink bait most of the stink bait that I've tried in the past uh, I've tried a few different brands and most of it is either consistency of peanut butter and it's just like peanut butter and you need to stick it on to something like a plastic worm or it's like dough real stiff dough and you need to pack it onto a hook or put it inside a tube or something like that but um this has the fibers I think it's a pretty cool idea I'm out here tonight trying it so hopefully I can bring in some channel cats tonight appreciate you watching baits in the water about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. I've already had two bites. Fish on. And fish off. He's on for about three seconds. <laughs> Let's see if I got any bait left. Not really, it's pretty much gone, but uh, some of those strands are still on there. Yeah, that's a real bite. Fish on. This is the line that was kind of out farthest away from the shoreline. And they're getting pecks and pecks on the line for a while. Little guy. Okay. Well, got the skunk off. Still got some of that bait on there. Well, if I catch some eater sized fish tonight, I'm going to be keeping them, but this guy is not quite there yet.
much on. And this is the rod that was out closer to the main current. I hope it's swimming towards me because otherwise it feels like a dink. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty dinky, but bigger than the last one. <laughs> another dink. He's going to go back. Got probably about another 15-20 minutes of light, or of usable light, left. And I don't know, if, if, if I'm not getting any more bites before dark, I'll probably split. But uh, here's to hoping. <sighs> So tonight pretty much sums up my uh, experiences with stink bait. Uh, seems to attract the smaller fish, that's for sure. It seems like the bigger fish don't uh, don't really care about the stink bait. But um, you know, it's a cheap and easy way to have some bait, though. You can it stores forever, but uh, you don't have to go out and catch bait or buy worms or whatever. It lasts a long time, but the results may vary, you know, depending on where you fish. But at least where I fish here in Iowa. Uh, small channel cats are, are are what the stink bait brings in, and that can be a good time if the if it's fast action. But it's kind of slow like tonight. But but if you're watching this, that means I didn't catch any more fish. So appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.